So <laughs> we're using the eyelash filter again. Yes, we are. Yes, indeed. I got a whiteboard. I've had this thing for quite some time. I remember I got it last year, in 2023, we're in 2024 now. But what I wanted to talk about is, it says, should you go to university in Canada? Now, I can only talk about this because of, hold on. I'm like trying to create background noise because I don't want anyone to listen to what I'm saying because I have roommates. Anyways, so should you. Based off of my experience, so I have to be completely transparent here. I started going to university right after high school. I went to University of Toronto. And this is in Canada, by the way. So this is for Canadians. Um, it took quite a while, okay? So, first off, you need to know that if you're, like, an immigrant, like, and you have immigrant parents, they're gonna tell you that even if they were a doctor in Afghanistan or India, when they come to Canada, they have to go back to school to become licensed a doctor here. Like, it's just, like, a thing. It's a thing because that's how they make money here. People, I don't feel like Canada is fully developed yet, like the United States. So, originally, like Canada was supposed to be an all-white country, and then they realized that, well, the white people, beautiful, wonderful white people, can't really do the work, you know. So then, Chinese people came, and they helped build the railroads and everything. And then after everything was built, they passed the Chinese immigration act exclusion act so basically stopping them from coming and there's like a whole history on that which you can go read about after murdering so many indigenous people and taking their lands again if you didn't know these things like you can find them you could literally google like if you live in canada you could google based on where you live what land like whose home it was like who what set of indigenous people were was the land that you're staying on whose home was it okay so for me i don't really know i do know i just want to talk about it because that's not really why we're here um so should you go i would recommend you going to college and if you're going to university like sometimes i watch tiktoks and then they ask people what are you doing in university and they say like their most random shit and if you know for sure that you're going to pursue what it is that you're doing then absolutely um if you're like me honestly i'm more of like a showgirl so i'd be good like as an actor or something which I might totally get into I like writing so even if I don't end up on the screen my work is gonna end up on the screen that's for sure but y'all know me I always go off topic back my experience is like I went but I just was there learning shit like I went in for forensics and then I ended up in sociology, politics, Canadian studies. Why is because I was always good in science. And then I was like, this is boring now. Like, what am I going to do? Like, end up doing DNA analysis. I'm a single person. I don't have any, like, children or anything. So it was just easy for me to, okay, I'm going to try something else. So that's what happened with me. Now that I've graduated... It's broad. Like when you study sociology, politics, you can get into lots of different things, but you really have to show yourself, show that like you're capable of being committed and like staying and doing these things. But that's just not me. So I would say go to university for four or five years if you know that what you're doing in university, you already have like a job lined up or you know that is exactly 
what you want to do or if not just do what it is you actually want to do if you want to be an actor practice acting like go on youtube literally they have like youtube school and they have like so many other places that offer certifications like Coursera which is something that I use as a new grad like to practice <laughs> after you graduate you still have to like practice for your interviews so sometimes like if the certification on Coursera is one to four weeks you can finish it literally in three days because as soon as you finish it you get to do the other parts and then you're just done So yeah, I mean with the world now and how it's changed, I feel like forcing someone to spend four full years of their life studying, especially if like the job isn't lined up after, I feel like people are so like becoming so enlightened now that they don't even want to go to work. You feel me? There are some that don't. There and the ones that don't are being creative to get their coin and putting themselves out there and just studying, like I said from online sources we didn't have all this information before okay so now is your time to shine like i'm not saying like i said totally okay if you go but make sure that whatever it is you're doing afterwards you're getting right in there like if you're gonna be a nurse or something you know make sure it all lines up make sure you start and you finish you feel me? You don't start and be like, hey, 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 hey. you have to finish. Other than that, like, I guess that's all I really can say about it. I know, and this is what they do. Like, if you're not Canadian, I'm Canadian, so I could really just be out here saying whatever. If you're not, it be it's a different case. But I would always say. If it's something where it's like you you came from another country and you don't even have the zeal to go to school, like go to university for like four years, go to college, go to like colleges that are very much hands on, like George George Brown, um, Centennial Centennial. Um, there's a this one in Barry that I heard is really good, Georgian College in Barry lots of hands-on like when you get like that hands-on experience it's always so much better than just theory but in those schools that i mentioned it's both it's theory and hands-on right after like together so that you really understand what it is that's going on so yeah i would not recommend anybody going to university unless they're going to do something that they totally love you know, especially these days when you could just like do other things and even when you do always always make sure you make use of your god-given talents like me case in point pretty girl out here i could give more details and i feel like i definitely need to like plan like because these just be random like it's in my head but it's like sometimes the the right name isn't there but like i have to be more detailed about it is basically what i'm trying to say so i'm gonna work on that for sure but yeah i would say do what you actually love especially if you're from like if you're born here and stuff like take advantage of all the free things that are available and don't waste your time because like when you're going to school like and you want to perform like everything else is just like you don't want to do it like you're just so focused that you forget that maybe you wanted to be a singer and you can sing so you just always kind of have to make time for doing um the things that you're really good at on the side while you're I just crack my fingers while you're going, I guess that's what I would tell my younger self. Yeah, like I was saying, I would tell my younger self, you know, like, to really focus on my gifts. 
but I can't say that like I didn't have like me going to university it's a bad rate rate of investment because it's a lot of money it's a lot of time but you do learn so much things like I said because I branched off from forensics into history basically I got to learn so much things about indigenous people for one just how politics and society in Canada works so it has done well for me you know and just like understanding being able to write better because like I write stories on medium which I mentioned before just like it has made me very much more knowledgeable and that is because I did what I was passionate about like I was passionate about learning about indigenous people and all the courses that I took I very much like started off where I sometimes would enroll in the class go through a syllabus see if I okay so what am I going to be learning here da 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 like go through like what the readings might be if like I don't like it I'll just opt out because you have the option to do that also like if I go to the first two classes and I realize that I don't really like the professor which I have done like a lot of like the older white professors that some of them for like the history classes they're very strict and I was like I don't know if I like that because it's kind of like I'm gonna want to write how I feel about certain things but then you might want me to write it in a specific way which I have had that and there was a history class that I almost failed and like I literally got like a 59 or something which is a lot but like I said bad rate of investment takes up a lot of your time I would tell my younger self that you know it's good that you did what you loved but you also have to make sure that you have if you're going to spend that much time in school you know what you're going to do after in terms of like a job and also if you're just doing it because you want to just finish in a sense that like maybe you went in for tech but then you're like oh I don't really like it you should always finish finish doing something that maybe you always wanted to learn about while working on a side hustle that's going to create you money maybe like YouTube or you move to the states where they pay people a lot of money for going viral with TikToks um maybe you have an ebook or an e-course or something that you know like you're always going to have like money in your pocket regardless if you graduate and you don't want to start working in that field you just wanted to learn about it either way you should always like work on using your god-given gifts i always like like to say that because i feel like for me i've always like even growing up they would say oh like you have such a nice voice but i never pursued singing like that that would have been like a totally cute nice side hustle for me if i had like that person to tell me these things you know like to encourage me basically to do that while you know sing do a cover post it on youtube boom 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 before you know it you have like four million subscribers yeah or maybe you write or maybe you're good at drawing anime so you put them together in a little south park type animation movie or something or you i don't know like whatever it is that you're good at like i would very much encourage my younger self to pursue the things that i've always been good at like whether it be you love nature so and you like taking pictures of animals who loves who doesn't love animals i just literally wa- watched a parrot sing um a song 
on on TikTok that got like over 60 million likes. You know what I mean? So always making sure that you make that time for yourself to be great literally in what you love to do as opposed to just head on it just sucks the fucking life out of you like even i said that i'm doing this course thing on coursera i started probably on monday and i haven't finished yet it's just like the procrastination that i've had from writing excuse me papers haven't left it hasn't left you know it's just just thinking about having like and i would read i would read a whole book okay because for the year already i've read four books which isn't a lot but compared to last year having leisure time to read books zilch okay but you know i would read like things that i'm interested in but as soon as you tell me that i have to read these things and then do an exact quiz after and then this is for getting a certification the motivation goes out the door that is what university has done to me so i have to get over that for sure but that is something that happens just to keep that in mind i mean you're taking five courses per semester or even four and having to write so much papers per course and pr- produce it in a specific time it's like i don't want to be i hate being told what to do so that's really what it is and this course that i'm supposed to be doing has a timeline matter of fact i had something due today at twelve fifty nine. did i do it no i didn't should i have done yes but Like I said, I shouldn't have to do that. But even after graduating, you have to be doing all these things to prepare for like interviews and stuff, and it sucks. So that is my story. You got some value here, at least if not apart from the ramble that I ramble. So yeah, I just wanted to make this to say that and I hope this helps someone.